Hello my friends, in this video we are going to convert again from Hoi4 to Stellaris. Um, this is not going to be found on the Paradox Game Converter and it is here. Uh, it is in Unfunkable GitHub. I put the link in the description of course of this video, you can check it out. And uh, we have the converter here. The way to get it at the moment is that the latest is version 0.6. It supports Hearts of Iron 11.15 and Stellaris 3.14. It also supports the conversion using the Millennium Downward mode. And uh, it also explains that ima image magic is no longer required as a separate download. So here we have a Millennium Down rendered at 1.16.1 and we have to revert our Stellaris to 3.14 so 3.14 here I think 3.14 is good enough so let's roll it back so let's resume our playthrough so this Stellaris version looks like a, you know a crypto token you know some like it's a funny number so yeah this game so in this world, in this version of the world, some things happen like the Iraqi war become two, so like uh, Iraq fought two wars. Saddam Hussein, I think, one, uh, once won it. So now this is the 1st January of 2013 and we have Russia in trouble. So this Russia, we have Gorbachev here controlling this litter four patches of land here and there which is a map gore we have Karlia separated we have Komir separated here uh, so anyways the Russian Federation and Russian Empire is gone the Russian Federation is gone we have China as well having two breakaways uh, Tibet and Xinjiang and Xi'an anyways to be a judge of this map, who won? What's the situation here? I'm not so sure. We can go to alliances and see the alliances. We have NATO, Saudi Arabia have Salafist ideology. But I judge that it is the NATO that is controlling more countries than the other parts. India is non-aligned and China is having the emergent outlook. So given that China has around 1.6 billion people living in it, uh, it's a big portion of the world. We have Brazil also and some other big countries. But, you know, how is the Stellaris version of this game going to be? Let's the Stellaris mo make that decision for us. So we save the game. And we're going to go to exit the game, of course. Because my version is a little bit more in the future, it might not work, uh, heads up, it might not work perfectly. You need a magic, uh, Im image magic uh, one. So you need to come to here, imagemagic.org, a script download uh, PHP windows. I will put a link in the description for this and you gotta get this firstly. So we're going to walk through together the log here, give me an error. So yeah, this is my Stellaris. Uh, I need the pass to this one. So let's go and to the configuration. And we have to sort of manually uh, change this. So then the path to your Hearts of Iron for installation, if you are using a total conversion mode, uh, if you are, uh, okay, we are using a total conversion mode. So we are going to Hearts of Iron 4 and uh, browse the files, browse them and find out the mod that we are using. The fact that it doesn't identify all of this like the other save game is uh, it makes it very difficult to do this thing. So let's see where is our files. So we are here, um, place set and let's see where is this mod. Open, show in the folder. So here we have it, this is the stuff here, so okay let's go here and then put it this place, okay, and the pass to Stellaris mod folder, Stellaris mods folder, so mods of a Stellaris is where, there's no mods, uh. okay let's go to Stellaris first and then uh, download the mod. 
and see where is that mod go. Um, most popular NSCS module extra ship set um, buildings. Okay, buildings is. Let's subscribe to this mod. Tada, we have a mod. So let's go to Stellaris. Mod library. Okay, continue. Never mind. Mod library. So we have this mod. Uh, let's show in folder. Here we have this mod. So, where are you? Okay, here is this the mod. And how to Hearts of Iron for government get converted to Stellaris nodes? Gaia mapping vanilla Okay, vanilla 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 uh, Then the game the name of the converted mode output converter output. No, I don't want this. I want a Stellaris Sorry, how H Hi for Conversion Maybe you don't have to put the space here. Have to be cautious. Where you would like to include the results? Where it will use yes or no? No. Okay. I think everything is set. So we're going to save this. Save. And then uh, run over. First close the Stellaris and everything else. And then going to this one and then uh, press it okay it seems it's doing something very excited uh, what happened is that all so let's see the log Wi-Fi files compressed and cannot be read please edit documents okay Wi-Fi file files compressed and cannot be read uh, please edit document paradox interactive heart of iron for setting txt with a text editor and change save Binary yes to save binary no. Save your high for game again. Okay. Um, so we are going to go to document products. Okay. We're going to go to documents again. Um, Paradox, Hearts of Iron 4, settings and save as binary yes. Now I put it as save as binary no. Okay. So. Uh, maybe I have to restart the game again. So close, exit the game. Uh, okay, now we go to single player and then continue the game. So now we're going to save the game again. And now let's go and check our i4 converter. Or maybe we have to close the game. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe exit the game and then run it again. Okay, so this is the situation now. I mean, um, I have done a lot of things that I don't do ever in my life. And... Uh, Oh, okay, let's go to configuration and then see if everything is correct here. Um, okay, I swear to God, I changed this to no. I changed this to no. Okay, no. Save. Let's double check. Binary, hey, binary, where are you? You behave yourself. Save as well. Okay, you see, ah, huh? it changed itself. Oh my God! Can I even prove it to anyone? So let's see single player again. Continue. Okay, let's save this game. I am sure, yes. Okay, so let's now go outside and hopefully we can convert the game now. Parsing. Seems it's doing something.
Wow, we see progress. Yay. Oh, isn't it so sweet? You see all these letters that you cannot read. Conversion is successful. We stop our beautiful Hearts of Iron game. And we go to Stellaris. Okay, initial playset. Now let's go and see the playset. So we don't want this. So let's go to the log and then see where is this file saved. Uh, Conversion successful. What by economic crisis? The United States is particularly badly affected. They become isolationists. Wow. Several serious breakdowns in relation between China and India marked the beginning of the Cold War between the two superpowers. Advancing machine learning. Okay, this is all the progress until 2171. So this is the history. Wow. Nice. So let's see, uh, creating events, conversion is successful, okay, conversion is successful, but where is the conversion? So uh, let's go and uh, find our mod, okay, this was the mod, right? So subscribe, added one new mod, so let's disable it, and let's see where is this one. Let's see the path, and what path they have going to... Running from this one, output mod file. Is This is the place for the mod. Okay, so uh, we're going to go here. Paste this export place here. Oh, no. Um, so this is the conversion. So we're going to take this, copy and a new folder here and then paste okay now we're going to enable all disable all anything no add more mods cancel so let's see uh, if we restart the game will it come up okay let's uh, Control X and then put them. Oh, okay. Uh, let's come here. Control X and uh, Control V. Let's see if it works here like that. Or maybe, yeah, okay. Let, let's see if it works like this. Add more mods. Uh, cancel and let's go out and let's go to playset still nothing add more mods no. so what to do um high for conversion um let's see um the mod was generated in the hover converter use mod uses variable earth climates ha huh. What's the difference between this and that? Common events, GF, blah, 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 and then um, uh, it has a thumbnail. Let's see. Okay, now. Let's change this number and put it, I mean, add a one and then here change this to this number okay now we're going to quit and then come back again play set and enable it okay this is bizarre but anyways let's move in move on with this thing some active mods are made for other game versions. Um, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure what I have done. I hope my computer doesn't explode. So anyways, this is a message here. I first have to go and uh, sadly uh, shut down the music because I am not going to uh, comment on the music and later I'm going to change it. 
Uh, so let's see, go on new game and see what's going on. So we have uh, converted from Hoi4. So it works. Okay, thank you, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video, short video on how to go from Hoi4 to Stellaris. I think making such a thing is, of course, a great service to humanity. For the one who is willing to do it, it creates value, especially if you are playing a Giga campaign. Let's say you're playing a Giga campaign from, I don't know, Bronze Age and you bring a Kemetic Egypt to conquer the world. Uh, by the time it's in Hoi 4, you control the world and everybody's Kemetic and it's a different world. So you don't know if you want to start as United Nations or you want to start as something else. Uh, in general, thanks to the developer of this amazing mod. I can't funk up is the name of the developer and see you next time my friends.